I'm just gonna wait for more people to hop on. This is part two. I hit my four hour max. So once I hit about the same numbers that we were at or close to, I'll continue on. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay. Brenda, I'm using Tech 70 um, thread from Sunny Sewing. It's a gray thread. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, everyone. Okay. We're about at the same amount of numbers that we were at when I, when I got kicked off. So I'm going to continue going around a half inch. And then we're going to um, trim the seam, like the um, seam allowance. But you're only going to trim the top of the side panels, not the main panels. Okay, so let's continue on going at a half inch. So I'm going to make sure my foot is down because it got a little wonky right here. Okay. I'm going to get my hump jumper because it's really thick right here. Push through this thick seam here, hand cranking half inch all the way around. Okay. Feel like there might be some wonky. Let's see right where it was fixed, but we'll see. Might have to do some fixing or leaving it. Okay, so we're gonna continue on half inch. I'm just... Making sure everything is still staying where it needs to be. Moving clips as I get to them half inch all the way around and we're almost back to our starting point. These, these seams right here are super thick, so be careful. All right. So now I'm just going to get my snips and snip this off. Okay, super thick right there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and trim just my the seam on my side panels like the pattern tells me to. Yes, Kimberly, just trim the side panels on the, um, just trim the side panels. I know it's, it's definitely weird. So I'm going to just trim right here because you want this extra bulk, um, at the front to hold up the little, um, that little casing piece that we put, that we attach to the front. 
So I'm just gonna V out. I trimmed down the seam allowance here, but I'm keeping this here, okay? So you wanna keep this here. Throw that in the trash. Let's see where we're at. Do, 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 do. Now we can turn the bag right sides through the opening. Okay. Let's see. Being careful because you don't want to. Don't want to accidentally rip any stitching on the lining here. Maybe I did not leave a big enough hole. Okay, here we go. Now it's time for the arm workout. I don't have my heat press, so I can't hit it with steam to try to loosen everything up. That's okay. Just carefully pull it through. Oh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get a band-aid. I cut myself. This is I, this was from yesterday when I um, nicked myself with the with my um, what's that thing called my rotary cutter. Okay, so now I can I just don't want to. The last thing I want is to accidentally mess up my. He wants to sleep with us, so there was more spaces, but he said no. Okay. It's okay, dude. Okay. So just... I'm obviously having a hard time trying to get this in. And I've never really been good at birthing a bag. Let, let me just... I feel like I always make it harder than it needs to be. Be quiet. Like, oh, I can, I can. Hey, y'all, be stop being mean. Okay, slowly just working it. There we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. So now, I think next time I make this, I'll probably do like Deco the Light or something. Just because I feel like the foam doesn't get as much structure as I want it to have. Also, it's actually pretty cute. Okay, so that is that right there. So, we kind of just, once we,
Hold on a second. I'm gonna look at something real quickly. To one side top stitches, it'll look a lot ni neater. Um, you're going to want to press the bag well, especially around the top of the bag. Top stitch at about a fourth of an inch around the t entire top of the bag and underneath the seams below the casings. Okay, so this is where it's going to get a little tricky. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get clipped and I'm going to roll my seam, uh, my lining down. I'm going to roll my linings down where I'm able to. This one we're going to have to do by hand when we get there. But I'm just going to clip like this so that my lining isn't peeking from the top. So I'm just rolling it with my fingers. And I'm gonna pull, I wanna pull these up as far as I can because we're gonna top stitch that and that's gonna help it stick, stand, uh, stand up. So let's top stitch this. Okay, okay, turn the bag right side out, six through the six inch lining, um, press the bag well, stitch, a top stitch at the top at a fourth of an inch. And we're also going to stitch here too. So this is where I'm gonna get a little bit nervous. It should work out. So I'm gonna start Somewhere that it's going to be hidden. Actually, I'm going to turn, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I normally don't top or like stitch this way. I normally stitch from the outside in, but I'm actually going to turn my bag inside out because I want my, I want to make sure that the stitching is correct on the front versus it being like the correct link on the back and I'll show you what I mean I mean it's gonna be fine but I want to make sure because like this is bubbling up so if I was trying to stitch from the back like this this could like get all like wonky and it'll like could roll up so this will be the easiest way for me to be able to make sure that both my lining and my this would be the easiest way to make sure that my lining and my um, my lining and my exterior is pushed as far down as it's supposed to be. So I'm going to start, I'm actually going to start, oh, where am I going to start? I'm going to start right here in this back corner. So I'm just going to make sure. Okay, so first. I'm gonna put my needle up at the highest point. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna make sure that I have a full bobbin. And I think my bobbin casing went out. So, I'm gonna put in a full bobbin so I don't have to worry about. bobbin in okay I'm gonna move this to the side I'm gonna put my stitch length to a four and I'm going to Okay. 
start right here in this corner. I'm gonna make sure that I push down my exterior piece or exterior exterior fabric down so that it's not bunching up at the top. So it's a quarter of an inch top stitch. I'm starting on the back. I'm just making sure that everything is all pushed down. I'm going to take it slow, making sure that when I adjust, that my uh, needle is down. Needle down. I'm going to put my hump jumper on because it's super thick right here. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get my, my foot under there. Hold on. My knee lift stopped working on my industrial. So I gotta see if I can fix it real quickly. lip is not working on my machine oh okay I'm going to I'm just gonna have to use I'm just gonna have to lift it up like this and then hopefully I can get it fixed uh -oh. hopefully I can get through this So I'm going to continue at a fourth of an inch all the way around, adjusting, making sure my needle is down. Hump jumper in here. They get to this big. Just making my way, going slow, making sure it's all pulled out. to rush get the I mean it's thick it's it's thick even for my machine so I would really recommend hammering down these seams if you if you absolutely need to if you're on a domestic
There we go. Now we're getting to the easy part. We're almost there. Almost to the finish line. Well, I guess it's a good thing I have another machine. What's... Okay. Oh no. I don't know what happened. There's no way I ran out of bobbin. Something happened with my bobbin over here. Try this again. It happened. Okay. Oh, my, so like my bobbin must have, um, my bobbin thread must have broke. So I wasn't stitching with anything. So now I gotta re-go back where I last started off, right here. And stick this back under. And re-stitch. Mm. Broken needle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out my needle size because I just broke this one. I'm gonna switch my needle size out to 110. This will help me, this is what I should have done instead of continuing to. So I'm gonna switch my needle out to a 110. This will help me get through this really thick seam. So if your domestic machine is also having some trouble, try using a bigger needle if your domestic machine allows it to, along with the walking foot. Just gotta be careful, cause I, my hole went all the way through my Teflon foot. Whoops. I don't know what is going on. My machine is like not wanting to do this. So I'm just gonna cut this down. And once again, I'm going to start back on this seam. Even though I know it doesn't want to. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. So I'm just making sure I'm gonna continue just like I was doing. Adjusting as I need to. Making sure that my seam is down. Make sure when you adjust that your needle is down. You got to my end, so now I'm gonna back stitch, and that was a lot easier with a thicker needle, with a bigger needle. So once I put that, once I put my bigger needle in, it it helped tremendously. You saw I was struggling with that 100 needle. Okay. So. Okay. 
Let's see. So we top stitch the top of the bag and underneath the seams below the top casing. Now we need to top stitch around the side panel clip or pin around the U of of a side panel from the outside using your fingers to push the seams of the lining in to match the seams of the exterior. Okay. I'm going to turn my bag right sides out now. So I'm going to turn my bag right sides out now. Okay, this bag. So now we're going to, you, we want to top stitch this, I guess kind of like a U shape. Yes, okay. This will help fold it in, but my, okay. so the only issue is you want to make sure, because look what happened. My top casing went over my seam, so it's going to be really hard to top stitch that. So, but it's my first bag of this this pattern, so now I know what to do next time, what to look for. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this side. I'm gonna start on this side. Okay, and I guess, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to, so this is, I did something differently than what the pattern says. So the pattern has you like top stitching this. What I'm going to do is I have my zipper open. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that opening seam where I had my, um, where I had it open and I'm going to stitch it close. And it might be difficult to do, but I'll make it work. Okay, so yes. So that's why you trim the seam allowance because you're not supposed to pull it through the lining. You're, or you're not supposed to pull it, like you're not gonna pull the lining through the pocket or the zipper pocket. You're going to top stitch it into that seam, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm just, since I have it open. So I'm just going to, at a half, at a five eighths of an inch seam allowance, like we did the rest, I'm going to top stitch this or it stitched this close like I did with the regular, um, um, like we did with the lining on the inside. So I'm just making sure that this is all aligned, making sure nothing's underneath my foot. It's gonna be a little weird. It's gonna be a little awkward, but that's okay. I'm just making sure that I'm matching this at five eighths of an inch. This would be so much easier if my knee lift worked. Okay. Now I'm just gonna stitch this close at five eighths of an inch and then trim down that seam allowance. Okay. Okay. So this is a little bit differently than what the pattern calls for, but that's okay. Now I'm just gonna trim this where it had wanted us to.
Okay. Yeah, so you could leave the opening probably at the bottom panel. Um, but you just wouldn't top stitch the... I would omit top stitching the... Um, I would omit, sorry, I would omit top stitching the um, bottom panel to account for that. Okay, so now we're going to do what it tells us to. We're going to clip this and then we're going to top stitch this. I believe it says at 3 eighths of an inch. So yeah, we're going to top stitch three eighths of an inch. So grab your clips. You want to grab your lining piece and make sure that your lining is make sure that your lining is also in this. So I'm just gonna put my fingers in and push it up while I pinch to clip doing that all the way around when you get to this part you're gonna want this to go in because you want that there we go just There we go. You want that nice U shape. That's going to give that, um, that doctor bag look. Okay, so I'm just making sure that my lining is going to get caught in here when I'm stitching. And it is. I'm going to look in here, make sure there's no like puckering. Whoops. There we go. So I got my lining all caught in here. I'm gonna start on this side and go all the way three eighths of an inch. It's gonna be very, very, very bulky. I'm gonna start just below this this bulk area. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna even get it out of my foot. Okay, this is when. Okay, there we go. Just carefully so three eighths of an inch top stitching. Uh -oh. oh, probably would be nice to have your pressure foot down. So 
Mine's gonna look a little wonky because I didn't have my pressure foot down. So I'm just top stitching an eighth of an inch all the way around. Whoops. So I'm just going to make sure I catch this. I'm going to try to put this in there. Making sure my foot is down. Okay. So it's a little bit bigger seam allowance, but yeah, staples will put holes in the vinyl. I wish that my if my if my um if my um pressure foot was working, like if my my knee lift was working, it'd be a lot easier. But I'm having to, I, my machine broke. Yes, definitely don't start with vinyl on your first Nora. Okay, so now let's go with top stitch in the next part. Definitely use a bigger needle if you do plan on. Definitely use a big, bigger needle if you do plan on using vinyl. Like once you get to this, switch it out to the, a bigger size needle. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to do what we did on the other side. This one should be easier. I think you just have to kind of get the hang of it. I think my next one, I'll know what I what I need to do in order to like avoid this. Like it, I think it like the top stitching would have been a lot better if I would have kept this out of my seam, out of my like the sides here. So it's not bad for. My first one, but definitely can use some improvements. There's some things I would do differently. Okay. An eighth of an inch seam allowance. Making sure this time I do not 
forget to close my, um, to put my presser foot down. Oh wait, whoops. I had that way. I was looking at the wrong, um, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at the three eighths of an inch. I'm, it's supposed at the, I was looking at the five eighths of an inch versus a three eighths of an inch. No wonder why it, my stitching got bigger on the other side. I was like, what in the world? Okay, so I'm gonna hand crank, start this, and then I'm gonna back stitch, making sure my foot's down. Okay, so three to an inch all the way down. I would also really make sure that you trim these sides down to an eighth of an inch because I know I probably I probably trimmed mine down more to a fourth of an inch when I should have did three eighths of an inch like it like it stated. This top stitching is probably the hardest part of the bag. Definitely if you want to try this bag out for the first time, I would do all cotton. And then once when you get the hang of it and you get used to this pattern, definitely I think vinyl would be fine. Or you can do like a softer vinyl, uh, like from Walmart. Walmart has some really soft vinyl. Okay. Yes, Diana. Okay, so now it says cut two 11 and a half inch, so nine and a half inches for the small handbag of boning. Um, slide one into each top casing along the top main um, panel. So I'm going to cut two boning, which are, I believe, are right here. They need to be 11 inches wide. Or nine, so nine and a half if you're doing the small or whatever size it tells you to do if you're using the bigger size. So I'm gonna cut mine at nine and a half. I'm gonna cut my next one at nine and a half. Okay, so I want you to take out the, you just need the boning, so take out the casing and then you're going to Put the boning inside of the
I'm going to put it inside the main um, casing here. So I'm just putting it through. There we go. So I just stuck it through. And now I'm going to do the same exact thing to this side. Feeding it through. I guess I got myself a cute little bag. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... So there we go. We got our casing. Make sure that casing is in there because it keeps popping out. Alrighty. So you're gonna tuck them underneath the folds inside the casings, okay, if you can. So then you're gonna turn the bag lining inside out. The, turn the bag lining inside out, fold a side panel in half, matching the two seams together to make a center crease clip. Clip the fold once or twice, beginning with the fourth of an inch of below the top seam of the side panel, top stitch along the fold for about one and a half inch. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna want to turn your bag. I ha Diane, I have not made the handles. I am still working on the bag. We just top stitched it. Now I'm gonna turn it right sides um, or wrong sides out. And we're going to get the lining here, this side panel. So I guess it doesn't really need to be perfect. Okay, so you're gonna get this here and you want to fold this, you wanna fold it like this in half. So you're gonna fold it in half and stitch okay so turn the bag lining side out fold the side panel in half matching the two side seams together exterior sides together and press to make a center clip the fold once or twice beginning about a fourth of an inch below the top seam of the side panel Flip the fold once or twice. I don't know what it, oh, clip, okay. Not clip, clip. Clip the fold with a clip. That's how I was like this, no, I'm not gonna clip this. That doesn't make sense. Clip the fold with your like, clip it with a clip. So now you're gonna, you're gonna stitch about a half an inch or about a fourth of an inch from the fold. 
You're gonna stitch along the fold for only about a half an inch, about a quarter of an inch from the fold. So quarter of an inch from the fold, put this down and you're going to just make sure that it stays. I'm gonna make sure that it stays correct. And you're going to you're just going to stitch it about a half an inch down. Okay. And that will give you that little I'm going to I'm gonna redo this real quick. Oh, I wanna make sure that it's like a, a stitch length of a of a um three. I had out a four, so the stitches are gonna to be too big. You don't want that. Cause then you'll see the stitching whenever you turn this right side. So I'm gonna do the same thing to my other side, pushing my boning in. So there we go. Okay. I'm going to stitch this at a quarter of an inch from the top. And I'm going to do about a half inch down. And I'm just eyeballing it. If you want, you can measure it. Back stitching and my my um, stitch is at a three and a half. Okay. Now you're gonna turn this back to this right side. Yes, you could rivet. You could definitely rivet the, um, yes, I'm sure a rivet could help, could work the same as That gives you that little side. And then same thing. Gives you that little like side in. So definitely gonna need to iron this. So there's that. As you can see, don't worry. Everybody has some wonky top stitching every once in a while, but that's okay. So I'm gonna set that to the side. <laughs> I'm I'm exhausted. I'm I'm starving. I'm my uh, I wasn't thinking that it was gonna take this long, but it did. So let's do my handles. Let's do the handles and then um, I won't attach them because it's gonna it's fairly easy on how to attach it. Um, I'll, I'll walk you through it and then because um, it's late now I can't rivet or anything. So um, let's see the handles here for the handbag need to be how long? How long is this? This is, I believe, like 38 inches, I think. So I'm just going to just going to do this. I'm going to put a fold and then I'm going to cut it with my scissors, which are somewhere around here. Um, 
Okay. So now I'm going to fold. So I, I folded my um, handles in half and then I, um, so I folded my handles in half and then I cut, and then I cut where the crease was at to get the um, half inch or like the half mark piece of this. Um, so I think she has you um, sew this, the um, straps as one and then cut. But I want to make sure I have some, um, I want to make sure that my, I want to make sure that my um, handles have uh, reinforcing stitches so I can back stitch. I don't want to like it accidentally to come undone. So I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch in the middle. So I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch so that when I fold it, it will fold nicely and nice and evenly. And I'm just gonna clip all the way down. I'm gonna change my stitch length to a four because that's what I like to have it at for my handles. So I'm just clipping this. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing to my other handle. So I'm gonna make these even here, here. I'm gonna pull this, do the same exact thing that I did to the other side. I'm leaving about a sixteenth of an inch gap from that like center mark. So I'm not butting it right up to it. I'm leaving a bit of a gap. Like I said, it's about like a, a one sixteenth of an inch. That way the other side will be one sixteenth of an inch and it will match, it will give me like an eighth of an inch. Um, little gap for when I want to fold. So I'm just making my way all the way down, making sure there's a little gap. This will help folding so that you're not getting like overlapping or anything. You don't want that. Okay. So I'm just folding it so that it's nice and even. That's what that gap will do. So you don't have to worry about, because sometimes like if you fold it and you butt it up right together, one side will be longer than the other and you don't want that. You want it to be nice and even. This will give you that even, it'll give you that even uh, fold. So I am just putting this down and we're, we're about done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stitch this up and then I'll I like attach it to my bag, how it's gonna be attached and then I'll rivet it and then I'll take some pictures tomorrow. Okay, so I got my stitch length at a four. I'm gonna put my presser foot down. Um, my stitch is at a four. And I'm doing about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So I'm gonna re-thread my stitch popped, or my, my th thread broke. So I'm just gonna lift my pressure foot up. I think it's just because I, um, I think it's just because I nicked my um, my pressure foot whenever I, my needle broke, so I need to put in a new uh, I need to put in a new pressure foot so that it doesn't continue doing this. Okay, so there's my strap, all done. Gonna do the same exact thing to my other side. No, my pressure foot, my, um, my little nut on my, on my, on my, um, foot, it came loose, so that's probably why it was my, the machine was, I'm going to continue down, going an eighth of an inch, all the way down. pretty much done after this after you make your shoe straps normally I make my straps first but I I was waiting for some reason um I wanted it to have a good um I didn't know if it gave us measurements for how long the strap is supposed to be but it didn't it just said cut it in half so that's why I was waiting Cut this extra thread here. Okay. And that is my second one. Good night, Annette. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I know I had some troubles. Okay. So, the handles are done. You're going to grab your bag. And you're just going to... Add them in just like this. I'm going to be riveting mine because it's going to need that extra, that added strength. So I like to put my fold on the inside. So like this little fold. Um, no. I like to put my fold. Wait, hold on. How am I trying to? I like my fold to be where it can't be seen like so there we go so like if the bag is so if you're looking at the bag this is what you see the nice folded edge not the part where like we folded it together so Gonna do the same exact thing. And so I do the, I do the opposite on the back. The folded part can be on the outside, but the inside is this nice folded edge so that you can't. And so there is the small Nora bag. This one gave me some trouble, but we got it done. It's really cute. I can't wait. I'm hoping to make another one. It will be a lot better looking. Definitely. I learned some things on this one, but this is it. Definitely gonna iron it because it's a little wrinkly from all that turning and stuff. So I'm gonna hit it with some steam that will help help it not look so so crazy or like wrinkly. It looks really wrinkly, but once I hit it with some steam, it'll be fine. So this is it. 
Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Good night. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them right now. I can stay on for like maybe like a minute or so. Let everybody say good night if you have any questions. I'll post pictures tomorrow, hopefully. I'm kind of bummed I broke my machine, but. Um, I think the seams were really thick. One, I didn't do a very good job of trimming my seam allowance. She called for an eighth of an inch and I was a little weary about that. So I trimmed mine to about a quarter of an inch. So I would recommend following the eighth of an inch. I think that if I followed the eighth of an inch, I would not have had as much trouble as I did. Um, but yeah. Also, this vinyl is super thick. Maybe if you use like a softer vinyl, it'll be nice. But yeah. Um. So like, I've been having troubles with my um knee my knee lift. So my knee lift gave out. So like, I'm pushing my knee lift and it's not lifting. Like normally, you can use a knee lift to um lift your pressure foot. I can't. It's not allowing me to do that. So. I have to fix that somehow. But yeah. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. I will post pictures of the finished product tomorrow. Um, on the top, I think the reason why it was so thick on the top is because I did not, um, I wasn't very mindful of where I put my Decoville. So it kind of made it really, really thick. I think I would, what I would do is I would trim down my, um, so when I turned in my vinyl, that half inch, I would make sure that there's no Decoville or Peltex on that, within that fold. That made that fold really, really thick. And then also making sure that I put like, that I, um, Put it in correctly. Oh yeah, you want to see the inside? Let me make it look nice. So here's the inside. It has a zipper pocket, and that's just it. You could probably add like a slip pocket in here if you wanted to. But yes. Definitely some things I would change on this. But thank you, everybody. Good night, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.